We are coming to the end of 2022, and this is our second annual recap where me and my dad look back, reflect, and discuss what we learned, how we grew as a business, and the relationships that we created in Las Vegas and now traveling to other locations in the country and producing content. We're really gonna get into depth of how we're doing, what we're learning, and a behind the scenes look here at Heartfelt Productions. So, well, you, you know what? First of all, congratulations. Cheers. Cheers. We survived. If you guys don't know, my dad is gonna be turning 70 years old literally next month. And the amount of energy that he has, the amount of knowledge that he has, you know, as an entrepreneur and what he did in his real estate career, he wrote a book and just has, wow. we, we brought this all together and we wanted to start a company four years ago. And just the knowledge that he has to share in this company and the knowledge as an entrepreneur, I'm just, it's amazing. So Yeah. Well, one thing I want to thank you which is from my heart is you actually got me a mic this year <laughs> oh yeah so that was the thing the first year we didn't have a boom mic for him the last year we had a boom mic but he didn't have the sure and now so i guess i stepped up and earned my sure <laughs> so he did you know, one thing i want to ask you brandon is uh you know you've been the face of our company and i'm just so proud of what you have brought to this company, how you, how we planned it and we got it going. And uh, just the energy, the knowledge and the passion you bring to our company, oh, yeah. it just blows my mind. Right. You know, you want to be a professional baseball player. True. You know, that didn't work out. You took that passion, that work ethic uh, to be successful in baseball and you brought that to our company and it's fun to work with you every single day oh yeah cheers to that hey Sparkling you got it water oh, so yeah. let me just ask you a question let's hear it what was your favorite thing this year uh that we did as a company uh in your mind honestly the first thing guys is that comes to mind that is one of the most favorite things is the relationships we built yeah like absolutely. i mean it just comes down to, and everything's second nature after yeah. that it's the people the relationships the couples and just the entrepreneurs that yeah. we have been able to grow to learn right. from because in some of the rooms that we are in guys we are literally down here and people are on a absolutely. next level and to film their content to be a part of their journey just capturing what they are doing in the community like it's amazing to be behind the camera and then in to implement those systems yeah moving forward in your business because you go oh man we're just a peanut we want to grow into right. <laughs> you know whatever <laughs> oh, <we're laughs> growing into peanuts <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but uh, well, are they unsalted or salted? I uh, mean, that's the question. I'll I go with the go with salted. <laughs> I'll go unsalted. They're oh, healthier. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it's just <laughs> it's implementing those systems, guys, and then taking daily action yeah. to reach new heights, new goals, and to you know make Absolutely. a bigger impact. You know, you you talk about those relationships. Yeah, and one of the goals we had. Uh, Four years ago, we created a relationship with Make-A-Wish. Uh, we volunteered for them for two years, okay? Relationships will lead to business. You know, build those valuable business relationships with these people, don't expect anything back. And that has been a huge part of the growth of Heartfelt Productions. Oh yeah, and I, you know, relationships, because if you treat people like family, and you give it 110% every time you pick up a camera and capture the moment. Yeah. I mean, that is how your businesses grow, guys. Like, I think a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of people that think money first. I've seen Never. it, I film people, and it's just money, money, money first. And I look back and I'm like, you know, it's relationships first. You know, money's a tool, yeah. things will come. But, you know, you always think about the person, the relationships, and how you can impact others. And just think of that and change your mindset where you're there doing them a favor when you're filming. Yeah. You know, another thing is uh, we have natural enthusiasm. Yeah. You know, my dad always said, you know, just bring the best you you can bring. Yeah. No matter what you do. And this 
it's contagious to the people we work with. Uh, we hear all the time, and this is not about arrogance or ego, but you guys just have so much energy and so much passion. Right. When you actually do what you love to do, yeah. I sold real estate 37 years, absolutely loved it, but I was burnt out five years ago. Yep. This has been just for me, just to be able to work and uh, experience new things. And uh, I'm a people person, so I love talking to people about oh. what, what they learn and, and find out. And the second thing is share your wisdom. 100%. Uh, 90% of the people will never do what you share. There's no people want to hold on to that knowledge. And we say share it because when you get back, it comes back to you tenfold. Oh, yeah. And another thing is like people go, why are you sharing? Why are you, you know, trying to, hey, this is what you do. Aren't those secrets? And honestly, it's not, guys. No. Like when you give back, I mean, I rather give back a hundred times tenfold because that's where I see reward. It's seeing other people saying, hey, you gave me that tip to succeed in this business and you provide some value where I learned from you that Absolutely. got me there quicker or you, you know, taught me on the drone. That's the <laughs> rewarding part of the journey is giving back to others yeah. and seeing the results they have in their companies and their brands and their personal lives because that's what matters. Yeah. I don't want to interrupt, but you didn't ask me what my favorite thing was. What, what, what was your favorite thing this year? You know, traveling. Uh, right? You know, I mean, seriously. Yeah. You know, we've been stuck in Vegas, but this company took us to different events, weddings. You know, you went to Boston. You've been, oh, yeah. you know, filming, using your drone. You know, talk uh -huh. a little bit about that. I love to travel. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's just traveling's <laughs> a blast, guys. And, like, if you're a filmmaker, if you create content, like, that is the one cool thing that, hey, we were full-time business in Vegas. And now people are saying, hey, can you travel here? Can you go here? Film drone content, film weddings, film, you know, corporations. Yeah. Like literally we were everywhere it seemed like in 2022, but the traveling was fun because I used to look back at other creators, other people on Instagram, social media, YouTube, and I'm like- Four years ago. How in the heck do they travel? Like, yeah. is there a secret formula? How do they do it? But here's the secret that I think it is. Just do it every day. Create those relationships yeah. like I've always said, and just be yourself and be authentic to who you are and what your company provides because you never know who's watching. Like when I play baseball, people go, oh, there's a scout in the stands. Oh, you're gonna play a little harder today? No. no. You look at that scout and you go, okay, I'm gonna practice every day like somebody's gonna be watching me on the field and to produce that way. So when they show up, you are already there. Nothing has changed in your mindset, yeah. in your life, because you have prepared for that moment to give you back that opportunity. Yeah. You never know the person you meet, what's gonna lead, you know, where it's gonna take you. We created relationships with people that refer people out of state and we, we got to travel. 100%. I mean, it's just every day you show up, with your passion, your energy. It's just like professional athletes, just like Michael Jordan. You wanna make sure you're ready and you give that person everything you've got. That's what we do every day. We attempt to, do we have bad days? No, we don't. <laughs> you know, you know, stressful days, but putting those systems in. Another thing that I wanna talk about this year was growth in the company. So it oh, yeah. started me and my dad, and then we learned, oh man, it can be overwhelming yes. running a business. Everybody's calling you different organizations, different people, and you're like, how? You don't wanna spread yourself too thin. So that is the place when you have to go out and start hiring. Start finding people that fit the mold of your company, fit the mold of, you know, that bring value, yeah. that provide leadership, that you want to create leaders within your company so everybody can succeed. Yeah. Well, if we look back at this time last year, our goal was we we realized it, you know, you couldn't edit everything. You couldn't film everything. I couldn't do run the business part and do everything. So our goal was to hire two to three people uh, to supplement our videography. Yep. Some of our editing. Yep. Uh, to free us up to do what we love. True. and uh, your strengths 100%. and that's how we 
came up with with interviewing people and uh, talk about a little bit about how that went and how hard it is to find that person that fits into you, you, you know what you believe in your company the core ethics values right. i think one of the hardest things as a company is letting everything just off your chest oh man you're in control as a business owner but if you start to delegate your systems your editing you have more time to work in your business yeah. not on your business and that's something we implemented this year with you know bassy having him edit some things and Absolutely. really dive in because now he's becoming a leader of like the editing team where i just see it and i go looks good bassy here's the direction and he's stepped up on that because that is huge another thing was having another videographer that we can count on and Aziel, where he filmed each and every wedding with us during this wedding season to get what it was like to be a wedding right. videographer and other shoots that he helped us on you know so the thing is when you're starting to build you know an industry a company is like a lot of people just say it's me 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 no guys it's no. the team it's how the team can impact you know the video skills the community yeah. and how they can bring more value so you can provide more value yeah. to others one thing that's hard to find is somebody that absolutely loves what they do 100%. and in our company the number one thing is communication we absolutely want these people to communicate with us we're very straightforward we believe in praising someone educating them on where they can improve oh, yeah. and then ending with something positive this is a team effort we want people that that uh, work with us is to use their skills yep uh, in the company so they're always happy doing what they love to do exactly and I, I think that's a thing where you know when we meet people for the first time it's like what do you love doing do you love editing do you love filming yeah. like that is the one of the first question what are you passionate about because if they're not passionate about people aren't gonna stay yeah. so like when we answer and interview people it's like what are you passionate about and what value do you want to bring and what skills do you want to learn to yeah. grow within yourself yeah you know and so. we even tell the people that work with us is uh you know we hope you grow and if you want to leave the company and you pursue your goals your dreams oh yeah your values mm -hmm. go for it it's just it's an easy concept it, it is and it's just like guys it's like people i think like to hold on to things and it's everybody has their own goals their own dreams their own aspirations and when people can just go out and say hey you know what i appreciate you helping it but you can start your personal brand you can go after it. hey if you ever need any help from me i'll help you out like yeah. you know it's that team that community which is hard to find i believe in like a freelance because everybody was like i want it for myself i want it for myself right. but it's not right. that it's giving back how can i help you you're helping me and everybody can be a winner and we've learned from some amazing oh. mentors this year that's what they have done in their business yeah and you know it's building the community of people and that is why they succeed to new heights yeah and one thing you never ever reach the top ever because you always want to just challenge yourself we know people that you know we achieved our goal this year mm -hmm. yeah unbelievable year for us but then we look at people that have seven figure incomes now if you achieve your goal and your goal is here somebody else's goals here yeah god bless you both you but we have high goals every year we want to get better and be, bring better quality uh yep. becoming just a, a company with uh <laughs> scratch that but you know <laughs> we just want to continue to get better and thrive on what we do best and 100%. surround ourselves with people that we can learn and grow from from so true and, and get out of your comfort zone and you really have to get out of your comfort zone you do and like the thing that when I first started I realized like you know what you have to sacrifice a couple years to learn and yeah. as a millennial, like people see this, like his generation is different, but millennials, everybody <laughs> wants it now. Like I was the same yeah. way now, 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 but guys, patience, but ta taking daily action to every, achieve every it is day. like, I feel like the key to success yeah. because you got to keep moving forward, 
but you it's like this fine line of balance it's like baseball you can never get too high you can never get too low but always just try to stay mentally on the same path because Keep you know, the emotions between the lines. 100%. Yeah, we live that. I mean, and that's what baseball taught me because if you're too high, you're yeah. like, you know, you have a game the next day. It's like, you know, 162 games a year and you're always like, okay, just let's shake it off. And that's how life is. You have to learn to shake it off. Never get attached to the outcome. 100%. If you carry it into something else, it's distracting you from bringing 100% to your clients. True. So true. So uh, let's talk about going into like other things that, you know, what was the one thing that you learned from the most that stressed you out this year in the business that you want to change next year for 2023? We argued about this hundred times this year. Systems, yep. absolute yep. systems. True. We we're so busy. We knew what we had to do from the seminars we filmed. We just didn't have the time and we didn't make the time. We are making that time now yep. to set up our systems now before the first of the year to free us up yep. to have, if we're mailing out videos for weddings, whatever, we're going to have a system where we just finished an introductory video oh, yeah. for weddings answering those questions most couples have and introducing ourselves to them, which True. will free us up. We push two buttons, send it out. 100%. Now they know us, Yep. but systems in all these big companies we've found is critical for your sanity, your energy, and your happiness. Oh yeah, and I think that's another thing, like implementing systems, like is just have a process. And that's what we are learning for this year because you know time now is precious like yeah entrepreneur everybody wants to call you talk to you email you shoot film you know zoom meetings like it starts like oh my gosh i'm blocked for all these hours now yeah and you're like okay time is precious and having videos that you can create and send out like hey this is an introduction of me this is an introduction of us is Our really company. gonna step up the game and then having all the files organized yeah. where it answers the questions that people get the value without even talking to us and then we can engage when they know who we are and what we do yeah well let's let's even go a little more in depth on the system most people said well you got to set up systems we had no idea we're doers we're not the system analytics people but we met the right people oh yeah they actually spent time with us and said, hey, look up these websites, add these. Yep. Uh, we have one guy and they're giving back to us with not expecting anything in return. Oh yeah. And we just had that with, uh, with the mortgage lender. Yeah. 100%. He gave us some great ideas on which systems to implement. Yep. Start with one or two and then next year add a couple more. Exactly. So we're starting with wedding systems and business systems for our corporations, yeah. every system in our business. It's like we're adding like all these business systems we're providing for each company for us, because yeah. we get a question about corporations, weddings, reels, micro content, podcasts, flying drones, like all, all this, all this up in the air. And it's just like bringing it down yeah. into one. And having and, not having to type up a contract for every single one or yep. information, create one that gives an information about drones, pricing, yeah. answer those questions, send it out. Yep. And then prepare them like for speeches when we film reels. And we have nice. them prepared yep. with their scripts. Oh yeah. And then we can fine tune those scripts because we've been doing it for four years. So true. So this year looking back for 2023 now, as we went through 2022. Right. Where I think the next steps of this company, yeah. where we can take it, what we can do, right. because we know a lot of people in the community now and a lot of relationships we have built up. And a lot of people are saying some things that, hey, let's get the ball rolling. Yeah. Hey, let's start doing this. Let's, you know, make this next chapter. Right. Like I look at these guys on YouTube and us, this stuff, and I'm like, it's the next chapter. For us, like, it is. For 2023, yeah. like big things coming, like, you know, get in a studio, providing better content that people can come into one place and learn and creating that community. And I think 
2023 is going to be the year of systems yeah. and creating a bigger presence of community and getting people out there watching videos like this to come together and travel more, create more content and really go after, you know, bigger dreams. Yeah. I think you had mentioned the, uh, the studio, uh, that came about about three months ago where we were achieving our goals. But one of the frustrations we'll just share with you, maybe you, you have the same frustrations is that all of our people that worked with us were in different locations. Yep. And we believe now, and we'd have to set a podcast station, then our filming station. Oh, yeah. We believe now if you have a studio, a common place people can go have your editors there, have your, yep. uh, you know, Just videographers, the it, synergy, the energy, everybody's going to feel a part of that. 100%. And it's just, uh, we can have our station set up. Sure. And I think that's going forward for 2023. It's going to be, you know, going to be huge because now yeah. everybody can be there. You know, you're not on Zoom. You're not talking it through, but everybody can meet up and collaborate to create content. Absolutely. Because some of these guys that are on YouTube or in Vegas that have their business, that's what they're doing. And it's cool to see them succeed and yeah. everybody succeed because it works. Creating content, building personal relationships online, it's like no other. Yep. And another thing why we do this, guys, is just to document the journey of where we yeah. started, you know, four and a half years ago and to look back and kind of have this as you know, learning experiences where you can go look back and have these moments, these memories, because yeah. life's still oh. so short. And just to, just to have fun, enjoy the moment, and because we're always thinking ahead, uh, one time a year where we can just sit back, look back, and just like yeah. have a great conversation. Right now, I'm loving it. Oh, we're yeah. having a blast. We're having a good time creating content, filming, yeah. and just traveling together, you know, father and yep. son. Not a lot of people get to do this with their dads. Yep. Yeah. We did this playing baseball, you know, grow into the cages, you know, when it was like 30 degrees out. And we're like, man, it's freezing. Dad, let's go hit. Yeah. Oh, God, I just got back from work. Okay, let's go. Right. That's but what it takes. It, it does. It, it takes the grind. If you want a successful business, you have to grind. You can grind, but batching videos and having your systems that you could come in, we're filming for two days straight about all these topics and then edit that process. So now you can work on more of your business. You have your content being produced. And those are the things that you can do to have more time on your hands moving forward and what we're gonna do this year. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun year. Yeah. 2022 has been an amazing year, a blast. Here's one more thing I think that is, you know, great content. People don't realize like a lot of my friends are out here baseball players. Yeah. I grew up baseball grinding every single day, college degree because of baseball. I never picked up a camera, guys, till after two years after my degree and nine to five saying, you know what? This is not for me. Oh yeah. Entrepreneurship. How can I pick up a camera to make an impact? Yeah. And it's just learning step by step, the lighting, the audio, your settings and shutter speed on your camera. Yeah. You know, how to do audio levels when you're filming. If it's windy, you know, what is that wind noise? Buy, you know, a dead cat for that. Yeah. There's so many things, you know, filming in slow motion. But if you learn, YouTube is a great place to just learn from the best <laughs> if you're creating content, guys. And it is a journey. It's gonna take yeah. time to get into you know that content creation mode and it's not a habit. It has to be a daily routine. Right. And make it something, a part of it, like you're working out. Yeah, but you know, you did a lot of the nine to fives oh, yeah. after college. And you were one heck of a fry guy at In-N-Out. I mean, oh, yeah. he, he advanced <laughs> to be the fry guy. But what that taught him is he absolutely felt trapped. I, I worked for a grocery store, same thing. Uh, and so what he learned from that, he never wants to go back to that. Yeah, it's true. You know, In-N-Out and then, you know, Park Ranger. And I was like, there's something more. There has to be yeah. more. You know, then well, one thing he told me, he never wanted somebody to put a limit on his worth. Yep. his value that's spot on yeah and it's just i'm ready for what 2023 has in store 
and it's, it's gonna be exciting and then we'll be back here in another year talking about you know what we learned as a company and yeah. we'll see where we are we might have some you know guest speakers starting a podcast yeah. show you know we might be doing some things that you know are in the works no right now. we will be doing oh, yeah. some things i know we will oh yeah, yeah. We, we've had a blast yep and that's another thing guys one last thing is you know just thanking the people you know when you're starting out a business that support your journey that support your growth that you know buy into what you're doing because without those people without yeah. those relationships you know each and every year this is the time where we're thanking those off the camera those relationships oh, yeah. and Definitely. really treasure what we did with them and the companies and the organizations because that's oh. what it's all about at the end of the day it's just each and every person and from my heart too i just want to say thank you for everybody that you know you know to our couples yeah. to everybody that we filmed this year to the organization real estate you know and that will be another day but thank you to everybody and happy new year and that is it it is gonna be a great that's yeah. it guys i think we are out of words to say